Hi all, this is Chris Charles, Everyday VBA. This video we're going to be looking at the application.input method. Now, as you know, you probably use VBA. There is a input box, um, but there is also a input, an application.input box, and that is specifically for things like this. So it's specific to Office 2013 and later, and there's some, just some additional information that you can do. So it's the same, it's the same concept. It's it's very similar. But you do have some extra options, and the options are specific to um, most of it's the same. You got a prompt, you got a title, you got a default, right? All, all pretty, pretty simple there. But what you do have, you got a left and a left and a top. Um, you have a help file, which, um, to be honest, I've never used a help file um, ever. I don't even know why you would use a help file. Just program well, and you don't have to. Um, then you've got help context. Again, never used that before. But you do have type, and type is where the application um, is where this can actually be really powerful because you can have a type of a formula. You can have a type of a number. You can have type. Uh, you can have a string. You can have logical, which is true or false, or boolean. You can have a cell reference or range. You can have an error value such as NA. I don't understand why you would use that, but it's an option. Uh, if someone has a good idea, please put that in the comments. I'd, I'd like to know know why why to use that and then you've got an array of values so let me just we're just gonna walk through this real quick I'm gonna set up a couple um, and just kind of show you how these would work so without further ado here we go we're gonna go cells we're on we're gonna go cells 10 comma we're on 3 and equals application dot input box and we're going to go enter formula, formula, F-O-R-M, U-L-A, and the title is going to be application input. And I'm going to put a comma. I'm not going to put a default in, uh, but what I am going to do is I'm actually going to put in the type, and I'm going to go T-Y-P-E. parentheses and then equals and then we're going to go eight now you'll notice when I did that it switched to the type at the end and that's it's a standard um, it's a standard way to put in information in a in a function and basically the application input box is a function and you're going to be passing that information that way I don't have to do comma 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 now you can do that but this is just another way to do it um, and it will be in an ordered um, sequence unless you do type colon and then whatever it equals. And you'll notice um, on this, this is how they did this here. So they did a prompt. So the prompt is going to be sample. The type is going to equal eight. So that is very common. The first time you run into that, you get completely confused and lost and don't know what you're doing. And um, But once you're used to it, it's pretty cool. So we're going to run this real quick. F8 is going to go through at one time. We're going to do enter a formula. I'm going to just type in, if I type in a string, it'll actually work. Um, but I'm going to go equals, this is going to be equals B10 and uh, B8. And that's just going to concatenate. And I'm going to click OK. And that's going to throw in, um, actually put it in the wrong that's funny, put in the wrong one, huh, it's comical. So you'll notice that it put it right in there. Um, I'm off because of where I, where uh, the formula I tried. We're gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna get it right this, this time. I found that it's very difficult to type and talk and code. So we're gonna go equals, this is going to be B10 and B8, and then we're going to hit enter, and you'll notice that it put it in there. Um, and it tried to put those together, and it doesn't, but it does create that formula for you. So that's how the formula works. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to a number. Um, and in the number, I'm going to show you how you air out. Uh, the most, the coolest one of these is actually what I think is is the um, the range, which we'll get to here soon. One is number, um, and then this is going to be 11. And then three, hit F8, and let's get to that. Oh, see, there's your there's your error handling right there. So 
if you do have a if you do have an error or don't put in a formula, we're gonna put 100 plus 100. Notice it puts it in there. Then we've got our formula, um, which is saying for a formula right here, but really that's for a number. I'm gonna put in a string, and it's gonna yell at me. Number is not valid, so I'm gonna put in 100 and we are good to go. So I'm gonna change this to number just so you guys have it. I do like to include my code. I think it just helps you guys uh, get better at your, at your coding. So we're gonna go through a couple more of these really quick. You kind of get the point. I'm actually gonna do the next two just kind of right in a row. This is gonna be 12. And this is going to be a string. So I'm actually gonna code the rest of these out. The string is number two. And I'm gonna go through and I'm actually gonna cause an error on all these just so that you can kind of see what happens. Uh, we've got range. The only one that I'm not gonna include is, is an error value just because I, I really don't know why you would use that. So um, that is why I'm not gonna do it. So we've got 12, we've got 13, and all I'm doing is I'm taking the output of this and I'm putting it in a cell. And we've got string, we've got boolean, and boolean all that is is true or false. We've got range here, and then we're gonna do an array. And the array, I'm just gonna basically just stop the code for you so that you can kind of see what that looks like. Because it will be a little different. Now for um, this application of my range, I'm gonna need to make that real quick. This is gonna be area, select cells, and the range, um, we need to make that change. So we got two, we've got four, we've got eight, and we've got 64. Now hopefully we don't have any errors here. Again, you can grab my code if you want. Um, we're kind of trying to go through this as quickly as I can. Enter a string. Now I can put pretty much whatever I want, and it's not going to error out. It may error, um, it even misspelled it for me, wasn't that nice? Hit F8 again. This is going to be a boolean. Now, if I put a zero, it's going to put in false. Um, if I put in a one, it's going to put in true. I don't totally know why you'd use that, but it's a good example of what a boolean is. Hit F8 again. I'm going to go right here. I'm pretty sure this is going to air out um, because it's going to try to put that uh, in that in that cell. I'm going to actually do that again. Typically, you would assign this to a um, you would assign this to a variable. So we're, what we're going to do here on this one, just so that you have a, a proper idea of what happens, we're going to set RNG equal to this little guy right here. And then we're going to go cells 14 is equal to range address. RNG, actually RNG dot address. And since I um, so made that declared that variable it's going to throw in the IntelliSense works like a charm we're going to go back up here and actually process this we're going to select an area and you'll notice that it kicks over here and it's going to put that address right in there now I could have used these variables if I wanted to um, that may have made more sense but I did want to show you kind of how to put it on the sheet and this is the last one which is an array um, and really the best way to do this is to go like to actually set set, just go O array. It's in a variant, and so a variant is going to determine really whatever it needs to be. So I'm going to select some cells again. I'm going to click OK, and that actually becomes a variant. So let me um, come in here. I'll show you what that looks like. I go to View, my Locals window. You'll notice I have all my all my information in there. But I, what it did is it went and collected all that information from my array. And I obviously selected a bunch of empty, empty things. So let's do, let's, let's do that again one more time. We're almost finished here. We're going to grab this little area here. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice when I select that, it's going to pull in that information. Um, Let's pull that information into an array. So that's a that's a kind of an in-depth look at the application dot input box, which is new to 2003, 2013, and later. Hope you guys learned something. Um, I have used the range object here uh, on some cool charting stuff, just to um, and also just to select data. It, it works really really well. 
Um, so that is why that's how I've used this the most. Um, but those other ones can be effective as well. Make sure that you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. Uh, if you have any comments, leave those. I do like to get back on those. Um, and then also check me out on Facebook. I do have a uh, Facebook page where I post all my videos, um, including the solutions to Macro Monday. Don't tell anyone. Hope you guys enjoyed.